Hola, Hola chicos. chicos. This is Nadia. This is Andre. And we moved to Buenos Aires four months ago. And in this video, we're gonna get around this beautiful city and check public transport. to go I don't know have you ever got lost in a big city I'm absolutely hopeless when it comes to itineraries or finding the way to the cafes restaurant but thanks to my sweet hobby I can get around pretty easy Buenos Aires is a huge city and public transport comes in handy here Buenos Aires has a bunch of public transport from buses to subways which makes it easier to get around and even this double decker you might encounter which doesn't work anymore I think but looks like it's for fun here so supercar this one is very important here and I think that the first thing you need to arrange when you come to Buenos Aires you need to get this one where you can buy it it's kioscos this is like a small corner shop where they sell candies uh, drinks uh, all the stuff but the problem that you might face is that only some of them have this super card hola si. tienes sube? sube no no gracias you might need to have be patient as you need to go through one or two shops to get this one and uh, to add money on this card also you need to find machine uh, and some kiosk have machine but some doesn't have so and another one challenge that you might face here only cash is accepted but that's how it works Argentina anyway uh, there will be a link to the map you where you can buy this super card uh, in the description below subway in Buenos Aires is very old and my hubby says that it reminds him of the New York subway like they look alike what I really like about the subway in Buenos Aires that there are people who sell this uh, candies pens you know they just put it on your leg if you are seated and if you do if you if you don't if you love the <laughs> If you don't want to buy this shit, <laughs> you just say no gracias. And we were lucky that we encountered some musicians here. They playing songs, very beautiful songs here, and they are very professional. <laughs> to know not all that station allow you to switch uh, this uh, direction without paying twice so you need to make sure before you enter the subway there's a sign and it shows you the direction so that's how you can avoid paying twice trains in Buenos Aires are pretty easy to use and they are very comfortable and clean the one we took uh, one store trip to Tigre actually departs uh, from this station which is called called Retira and the whole journey lasts like for one hour and the price is amazingly cheap so it's less than one dollar last but not the least buses in Buenos Aires buses are part of this cultural heritage here and I believe that these bus drivers they call it collectivers here they absolutely 
absolutely nuts. They drive crazy. They open the doors uh, without even stopping. Sometimes you might be waiting for 20 minutes or more. Once we had this experience that we were waiting for more than 20 minutes. And when we saw this bus, it was looming on the horizon. And we were like, oh yeah, yeah. But he, he went by without even giving us a glance. So it happens, it's Argentina. So I think that there are some rules that you need to follow just to get around the city. Rule number one bus driver is always right so rule number two imagine that you are lucky enough to get on the bus but you need to tell the driver where you're going because the fare differs based on the destination but anyway it costs less than 10 cents because public transport is very cheap in Buenos Aires rule number three bus driver can change the route and nobody knows the reason for it but Come back to rule number one. Bus driver is always right. <laughs> and if you think that your Spanish is pretty decent, you need to talk to these drivers because I don't understand a word what they say. So if you're tired of public transports, you can always go for the taxi. It's still relatively cheap and it's easy to use. So this one uh, costs like less than a hundred. One dollar. One dollar. <laughs> Actually one dollar, yeah.